Hey there, Alex Kidman from Fat Duck Tech taking a look today at Parrot's Bebop drone. Now, in the drone space, you've really got to be able to stand out. Parrot's Bebop drone does this a couple of ways, or at least it tries to. It, it's equipped with a 1080p capable 14 megapixel fisheye style camera embedded in its nose. And it's meant to be gyroscopically stable, which means that the video you shoot from it should be nice and smooth. The other thing that the Bebop drone has going for it is the Sky Controller. This is an optional $600 physical controller with space for a tablet to sit in. Unfortunately, Parrot didn't send me the Sky Controller, so I really can't comment on how well or not it works. I've had to use it with the free flight app that they've used for previous drone models, which means it's purely touch controlled, and that can be a little twitchy. One of the nicer aspects with the Bebop is that it is an 802.11ac device, which means pretty much no matter the device you've got, it will connect to it on either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz frequencies. There is something just plain fun about flying a drone, and really, I mean, that's the reason why as a consumer you might buy one. Yeah, you can make arguments about using them for video shooting or surveillance purposes, but, well, not at this price point, and certainly in, within Australia, not without quite a lot of certification from CASA. You really do need to check those rules if you're going to use them for commercial purposes. It's worth noting the Australian model actually comes with a cheat sheet that tells you what those rules and regulations are. What about the downsides? Well, like most drones, there's a simple limitation to the amount of silly fun you can have with the Bebop, and that's really the battery life. Parrot rates the individual batteries for the Bebop at around 12 minutes each. I found in my testing I struggled to get 12 minutes, 10 minutes is more realistic. You do get two batteries in the box, but you've got to charge both of them before you head out. You're still talking about 20 minutes fun tops from this device. It's also fairly wind sensitive. Now this again isn't unique just to the Bebop, but I noticed during my testing that it often struggled just to stay level or stable, which could be a bit of a pain if you wanted to film something rather specific. So what's the verdict? Well, consumer drones are still ultimately big boys toys with tech in them. And look, the Parrot Bebop is no different to that. If you're after a drone, this is a nice, colourful drone and it is fun to play with. But the price is an issue. It sits well above those kind of entry-level drones that you can just have a little bit of fun with and they might be quite suitable for you. If you want something more serious though, you'd probably need to add the Sky Controller to this, but as soon as you do that, you start to punch up into that higher end, much more capable and ultimately much more stable devices. As such, that pricing and the wind issues with this, especially if you're just using the Free Flight app, make the Parrot Bebop pretty tough to recommend. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them below and remember to hit that subscribe button.